Hello friends, welcome to the next session. So now having gone through the procedure for conversion of a context free grammar to CNF, let's look at a problem and get the things more simplified. So the question which is given to us is as follows. Express the following CFG in CNF and the productions are S gives AB or BA, my A is giving me small a or AS or BAA, B in turn is giving me small b or BSA or ABBA, right? Now to the solution, we all know the step one for this problem is perform elimination of null unit and useless productions. So let's identify null productions from this particular grammar. So if I look over here, there are no variables which are generating epsilon. So there are no null productions. Let's look at unit productions. I also observe that there are no unit productions in this problem. Lastly, looking for the useless productions. Each of my variable a and b can derive a sentence and both of them are reachable from the start state. Therefore, I say there are no useless productions. So, I say my step number 1 is done since there are no null unit or useless productions. So, my step number 1 is completed with this. Step number 2 says get it converted to CNF. Now, before we start with it, remember what does CNF say? A variable giving me two variables or a variable giving me a single terminal. So, I should be able to convert everything from whatever form we have to this form which I have written in the box. So, now I have my step 2 and my step 3 which will be done together and it is going to be always the same. So, we have my productions over here and to the right of it, I am not going to write productions now. Instead, my final solution will be available on the right side of this. So, how are we going to start it? I say, initially among all the available productions, let us say I am considering the simplest of it. I am considering A gives me small a. Again over here, you can consider any production you want. I am starting from the simplest one and going to the most complex. So whatever things we are selecting over here, I will make sure that I am underlining it so that we do not miss on anything. So I say A gives A. So writing to the production, A gives A and A gives A is already in the CNF. Therefore, I am going to add it to my solution. Going ahead to the next simplest one, B gives B. Now, B gives B is also in CNF, so we can directly add to the solution. So, I write B gives B in the productions and I add on immediately B gives B to the solution. Going ahead, the next one, this time I am considering S gives AB. So, let me write it over here, S gives AB. Now, S gives AB is not in CNF because what does CNF say? All the productions should be in the form A gives BC or A gives small a. So, this is going to be or this box is going to be my reference box. Therefore, since S gives AB is not as per the form A gives BC, I say let's introduce a variable C1 which is going to be a temporary variable. And I call it as C1 and I say C1 can give me a small a. So, I am introducing this and that allows me to write over here S can give me C1b. And now when I see over here S gives me C1b, both of the variables are in the CNF form. Therefore, I add it to the solution saying S gives C1b is the solution for this. Going ahead to the next production. This time we will consider S gives BA. So I write S gives BA over here. 
Now, since again this is not in the form of CNF, I say let us consider another temporary variable C2 which is giving me a small b. Further, I say S is going to give me C2A which now is in the CNF form. Therefore, I say add it to the solution giving me S gives C2A, right? Going to the third one. So, this time let us consider A gives AS. So, now A gives me small a s. We already have the substitution for A, C1. So, I write A is giving me C1 s and since it is already in CNF, I am directly adding it to the solution. Although you can have one more step over here by repeating A giving C1 s in productions again and then writing it to the solution or you can directly write also does not make any difference. Going ahead to the next production, this time we consider A gives BAA. So, let us jot it down. So, I have A giving me BAA. Now, if I consider this, I can write over here A gives me instead of B, I can substitute a C2 AA. Now, the problem over here is even after writing replacement of this, I see that this thing is not getting converted to the CNF. Now, there is a trick to get it converted. If you follow this trick and follow the procedure in the trick, you will never miss out any particular problem without ending into the solution. So, now what I say over here is we want the production to be of the form A gives me BC. So, always keep the first term as it is and remaining everything you replace it by another temporary variable. So, over here I say if I keep the first term as it is, I say let C3 be another temporary variable and let that give my AA. Now, fortunately C3 is giving me two variables and that is in CNF. Therefore, I am adding it to the solution. Had it not been in CNF, then I will have to further work on it. Similarly, if I have this, now I can have A gives me C2, C3 and A also gets converted to CNF. Therefore, I write it to the solution. A gives me C2, C3. Going ahead to the next production. This time, let us consider B gives me BSA. So, here I have my productions. Here I have my solution and the production which we are considering right now is B is giving me BSA. Now we already know that for small b we have substituted capital C2, right? We can just check once again to be sure. Yes, I see over here for small b I have substituted capital C2. Therefore, I write over here of course, this has to be capital B. Capital B is giving me C2SA. Now, you remember the trick. What did I say? Leave the first part and remaining everything replace it by another variable. So, let my C4 be giving me SA, right? And therefore, now I say B is giving me C2C4, which is again in the form of CNF. Therefore, I say add it to the solution. Now, I am very sure you all might be having a lot of questions in your mind as to why are we always taking new new variables. But my friend, the question which is given to us is simplification of CFG. So, after simplification of CFG, we are simply asked to get it converted to CNF. Now, I can also get it converted to a minimized CNF. But that is currently not the requirement of the problem. For getting it converted into CNF, let's say if I have one additional variable, that is not going to make any difference. But it guarantees that our problem will be simplified. And once we get the final solution, you can always minimize it. But right now, let's focus on only coming across the solution. So I have over here B gives me C2, C4. That completes this. Let's go ahead. This time, I am going to consider the production B gives me A, B, B, A. That is the last one. So, let us write it. So, I have B gives me 
a b b a now for small a i can always substitute by c1 so that gives me b gives me c1 b b a now if you remember what we used to do keep the first term as it is and remaining entire thing was replaced by a new temporary variable now you could always say if i go back into the previous slide i have a substitution for c2 c3 c3 as a a so can i have a further co substitution over here not possible but let's say you had some temporary variable which was giving you just b a can you say we can replace it over here yes you can very well do it but as i told you we are currently not interested in minimize cnf so what my request to you is just stay connected with me for next two problems and then you'll understand why are we doing the same thing and make sure you are following my strategy throughout the problem to get a confirm answer without having you to wait for any other unconfirmed answers so i say rather take this as a single term and c1 as another term so i say we are already till c4 so let my c5 give me b b a and if that is the case my b in turn is going to give me c1 c5 and since c1 and c5 both of them are variables and they are in the cnf form i can add b directly to the solution giving me b as c1 c5 however if i observe my c5 my c5 is yet not in the cnf so if you remember the procedure i say keep the first term as it is and remaining everything you get it substituted by a new temporary variable so now i say let my c6 in turn give me my ba and after doing that my b will be having if c6 is giving me ba my c5 will be having capital b followed by c6 which is now again converted to cnf therefore let's add it over here so i have my c5 giving me b c6 that completes all of the productions just confirm once again so if i observe over here in the problem i see all of the production rules are covered so now we can move on towards the solution so we have now what are we going to do it whatever solution we have in the first column that is in the solutions column we are going to jot it down once again therefore i write all the productions a gives a b gives b c1 gives a so on and so forth till c5 gives me b c6 together therefore i have i say c f g n c n f is so i have my s giving me c1 b or c2 a then i have my a giving me small a or c1 s or c2 c3 then i have my b giving me small b or c2 c4 or c1 c5 lastly i have c1 gives me a c2 gives me b c3 gives me a a i have my c4 giving me s a my c5 giving me b c6 and lastly my c6 giving me b a now if you observe all of the productions that we just got are converted into cnf and that's the procedure that we are going to follow again and again now for getting a grammar converted to cnf see you in the next problem thank you